¿Really? Todo despejado. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes. Protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will plead for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> so how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups! Are the first step to victory! The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. You Come on, cut your... You just cut your hand open. You sure do. Push-ups was such a good idea. What can I say? Your little speech puffed me up. See, si! the part where you put the gun to your head and pull the trigger, that was crazy. I loved it. <laughs> Danny needs to take care of our little problem at the hotel. Well, why didn't you say so? All You're we no. need is Carlito, and the hotel is as good as ours. Sounds like we're on different pages of the same book. Doesn't matter. There's these farmers in Sombrado Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan, and I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy combo is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep tabs on the convoy and let you know when it's near the pass. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hitting convoys. We got El Tigre on our side. What good is that old man gonna be for La Moral? Did you sleep during this week?
Pop it open. <gasps> Jackpot. Your panther is beautiful. This is going to help a montón. I heard you hit that convoy. Si. Home run's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now. So watch the roads. Okay. Let's talk. I like these young areas. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution. And the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would piss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Castillo has many bullets, but we will have Carlito, and Carlito only needs one. El Tigre, I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. Shit, a camera. Diego, poor kid never had a chance. Mm -hmm. 
That was weird. Disculpe, disculpe. Excuse me. No. Hey. Hola. Carlito a fucking tank? Por supuesto. What were you expecting? He's Carlito. Try and stop me now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Nothing will stand in our way!
here. Ah. For eso, you came. What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down the mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. See! <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. No, I'm good. Come on! War is over when we are all free. Since when did you start quoting Lobo? When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. <laughs> Lobo did have a way of cutting the bullshit. I wish he was here now. He'd be so happy to see us and Carlito. Happy to see you and Carlito. Maybe. You know what? <laughs> We need to talk. I need you to go to the Grand Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy turistas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. Headed to the Grand Hotel Caballero. There's a truck leaving from the delivery yards if you want the lift. I'm driving up to the hotel. I could sneak you past the guards. Hop in. Oh, she! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. Then I'm going to have to find Hugo quickly. Our scouts are ready in position and ready to help. You heard Yelena earlier. That was the voice we needed. Sometimes it's hard to tell if we're winning or losing, you know? We're going to win this thing. I promise you that. from command. Yeah? Okay. Open up and let's take a look. I don't know. It's only for your boss to open. I don't even know what's inside. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, that's what I was told. You can open it if you want. The dentist said nobody was allowed to look inside. Oh, fuck her. Fuck that. Go on. Head up. <sighs> Come 
I thought dentists were always late. Not this one. Solid food. You'll tell me where La Morale is hiding. Why do they always think? Elena, the dentist is dead. La Morale is safe. For now. Gracias. She was going to oh, fucking kill me. And for I'm sure. working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They tortured their last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Moral, Danny? I'm just saying. <clears throat> Come here. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. There. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interest is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea coppas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, 
there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Sí, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente.